again, thank you for um, Rashmi for putting this on for us as well. Um, so today we've got some really lovely stuff coming your way. Um, we'll be having a look and speaking to the owner of Rose Pink Soaps. Um, I believe it's not just soap she does. I'm sure she does. There's oils, soaps, creams, but she'll be telling you about all her products. All of the products are quality, natural, handmade products, paraben-free and handmade by herself. Um, and she tries to make herself distinctive and have quality craftsmanship. But um, Projecta, or Nikki, as we're going to refer to her today, as that's her preferred name. So we'll be um, calling her Nikki from Rose Pink Soaps. I'll be handing over to her. She'll tell you about her products, hopefully show us some. I mean, I know I'm looking forward to um, seeing some of the stuff that you do, Nikki, because um, I'm really into skincare. So for me, it's like, yes, I really want to see this stuff. So hopefully everyone else will be just as excited to see what you have to offer. And then we'll have a look and see if there's any questions and, you know, hopefully you can answer those questions for us as well. Um, so yeah, I'll hand over to you to explain a bit about yourself, your company and, you know, what you have for us today. Thank you to Inspiring Indian Women for offering this platform where small businesses, especially women entrepreneurs, get a chance to talk about what they can do when they are overwhelmed with all the emotions, burdens of running the family and also being a mother. So um, this is a very good platform. Um, Give, no, what Solma has been saying about my business is way long back that I started in 2015. And uh, that's started when I was unemployed for a short period of time, nearly two years, because I had the responsibility of my family and kids as a priority. I see many of them women will relate to this story. And I felt very, uh, congested in the four walls of the house or confined to the four walls of the house because you're confined to the duties of being a good mother. You always label yourself as a superwoman. So you try to match up, always try to get 10 on 10 for yourself. And you forget what's happening in the outside world. And in that process, my skin, my hair started looking very dull dry because I couldn't give any time to myself, nor I could venture out to the spas and saloons. So um, once when I was in the kitchen, there was a potato chip, a potato which I was peeling <laughs> over the shelf. And I, and I had read many stories about natural products without preservatives, how they work wonders. So I just thought I should, I was looking in the um, kitchen shelf to see, and I was trying to rub it while peeling it. And after some time, when I finished my cooking, it, it really did a very good job of clearing out the all the residual, all the dirt, the blemishes. I mean, not the blemishes exactly, but all the dirt. And my skin on that portion was really looking tidy and neat. So that actually sparked the idea that while I'm at home, why I shouldn't look at doing something or developing some skin care or hair care for myself. The idea was not to go commercial that time, something for my own self. So I tried to look for courses and I came up with a lot of resources and certifications. So I certified myself into the um, into herbal skin care and also anti-aging skin care. So I have two certificates which I hold and that gave me the confidence to actually advise people. Till then, I was not aware of the different skin types people had. I just knew there's one skin type that is normal skin type. I never knew there's something like a sensitive or super sensitive skin. I never knew that. So that was kind of knowledge building for me. And it also helped me to advise people products and hair care as per that. So today I'm at such level where people just phone me up and ask me that, you know, um, I'm getting spots on my chin. What do you think it is? And I ask them, do you have any kind of thyroid issues? Do you, can you see some hair poking out from your, um, from your acne or pimples that you have on your chin? And they say, yes, how do you know that? 
I said, because you have thyroid, you're prone to have that kind of infection on that particular area. So that knowledge has come from the actual certifications or actual education, which I took from the herbal skincare certi certificates. I can also help or I can also talk about it later if somebody has questions about it, where to go about or where to start from. So that's how I certified myself. And then I started looking into getting into getting it more commercially developed. So I developed my own website during the lockdown. Till then I didn't have any website. And then my page was super active. Um, then I designed a miracle hair oil, which is a very good hair oil for all kinds of hair types. And it also helps for restoring your hair strength and your volume, or if you have split ends, Resilience, everything. And then I started looking into more of soaps to reduce the plastic usage to be more environment friendly. Um, somehow I've not reached a stage where I could do shampoo bars or conditioner bars. I have done it, but it didn't work. I tried to do it locally, but it didn't work. And I have to accept those failures. And that's where is the challenging part I like about it. That's amazing. Like, I really like your backstory, actually, um, because sometimes, uh, as you saw, when we first came on, I was super excited. Show me your product, show me your product. But actually, hearing the backstory, I think it makes it even more like, I don't know, inspiring is definitely the word. I mean, when you're talking about, you know, you just took the potato and you did that, I was like, wow, like, you have to have that kind of mind, that kind of creativity, and then yeah. that passion and drive. And like you said, you did it for yourself first. Mm. And now you found that other people, you know, wanted to try it and you were like, giving advice. And I just want to commend you for, you know, going and educating yourself and not just sitting there and saying, OK, I'm going to make these things. You actually educated yourself to, so that you could ensure that your products met the needs of, you know, what, what different skins need. So, yeah, that's really inspiring. <laughs> Yeah, but ladies prefer not to speak about their failures, but I am open about it yeah absolutely yeah thank you for sharing that i mean yeah. like you said you're trying i really hope that you do keep trying with the shampoos and conditioners because i definitely think that's something wi women and both men are, you know are i think it's a product that would be popular in my opinion but you know um but no it's true you should share the failures because people see a business and they just think oh i can set something no. up and actually yeah so would you, what, what would you say was the main challenge the main challenge was juggling and making those products actually getting packaging them sending them out in the post it's all a different task having requiring its own time and the products need to be priced really very relatively reasonable because i know i'm not a brand and i'm trying to create that brand so i have to be fairly priced so that it is affordable to everybody. So that's a challenge, a very big challenge, because with the other cost of making, labeling, packaging, the postage, and yeah. the labor is absolutely free. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I do feel you. It's funny. I was I was looking at a post the other day where they were asking people what's your challenges in business, and funny enough, I'd say nine out of ten answers were similar to what you've just said. So I think for a lot of small businesses, that's definitely a big challenge. Yes, the cost management. Yes. And yeah. the, the most, the biggest drawback, I think most of them will agree is the copyrights. Yes. Yeah, so absolutely. For small businesses, it's absolutely very arduous to get the copyrights done because it involves a huge cost. You can do everything legally right. You can get it up to your trading standards. I have done that cost you have to do it commercially you need to be uh, the product has to be approved by the skincare uk eu regulations done take but Brilliant. you can't really have a copyright or a patent it costs a huge a lot of money yeah so what's your um i guess what's your aspirations for um rose pink soaps um let's say in the next year or two years what what would be the ideal what would be the nice vision that you'd see more business 
<laughs> that's relatively what I'm looking at to grow more in fundamentally in terms of the expansion. And I need some social media manager to do my Instagram account and run my ads. And I want to be more creative on that and be more credible business. Amazing. So you heard that everyone, if anyone's interested in this social media manager to help uh, Rose Pink Soaps uh, drive forward with social media, you know, um, message her, you never know, it might be an opportunity for you and an opportunity for her as well. So yeah, amazing. Um, and what would you say has been the highlight so far of, um, you know, setting up Rose Pink Soaps? The achievements, um, it feels it feels nice that at the end of the day, you're reducing plastic, you're saving the environment uh, when you do the soaps and the scrubs. And it also takes you back to your roots. It also helps you to create more awareness about not using harsh chemicals and pushing people more towards using natural products, which has yeah. been our ancient culture. Uh, yeah, I, I would agree. I think even for me, like I remember like once upon a time, I would be using like, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. <laughs> Please don't knock me, but I'd be using sort of like uh, products like Clinique Dermalogica spending an awful lot of money. And actually yeah. I found that when I used more natural products, like, yeah. uh, you know, I just go, to your local shop and buy like rose water for example and just some coconut and I found it was so much better than yeah. the money I'd been spending um and actually I, I prefer to spend my money on natural products now like definitely like um the, the natural soaps and you know um creams that have as much natural ingredients as possible so I think a lot of um you know people are, prefer that and like you said the environmental awareness like um, for me as well. I think actually um, a lot of people now want to do our bit for our environment and if there are, like you said, the word affordable, if something's affordable and it's environmentally friendly, even if we have to pay a little bit more, I'm sure people won't mind. It's mm -hmm. just when you're having to pay triple the amount that it starts to, you know, mm -hmm. you might think twice. But personally for me, and I think most people, we are willing to pay for quality. So, you know, yeah. I think people are willing to pay for quality. And if we know, for example, you've met all the standards, you've got your qualifications, um, yeah. you'd mentioned that you had got it, um, I can't remember who you said, but it was ticked off by certain standards agencies and things. So that, those things in itself, I think, should leave people feeling comfortable to be able to try and purchase the products and give it a go. And um, I think word of mouth, you know, if you use something and, and it's great, I think we like to talk about it, don't we? You know, someone says, oh, your hair looks great. And you say, mm. and the first thing they'll always say is, what do you use? Is it, what did you do? Your, your skin looks great. What did you do? Mm. And then what do you say? You say, oh, I bought this from that person and it's been amazing. Or mm. I've been trying this out. So I think definitely um, worth, worth word of mouth as well helps with all of that. But you should be proud of your achievements anyway. You know, and, um, it's not easy to set up a business, to keep going even in tough times, you know. Yeah. Keeping um, it viable is is very difficult, especially in, during the COVID. I had to stop for a certain period of time. I had I couldn't do my business, fearing that I would have I had the symptoms. So, so that took a yeah a big hit on my business. Yeah, I can imagine. To be to be honest, COVID I think is tough on a lot of businesses anyway. So if you then have COVID and then you've got a family to look after as well. Mm. I, I know it's not easy. Um, I was actually gonna ask you how COVID impacted your business, but I think you, you've you answered that now. So yeah. Um, yeah. Should we see if anyone's got any questions for you so far and then you can maybe move on to some of your products? What, is that okay, Nikki? What do you think? Yeah, I don't mind the questions and I can show you my website and I can show you uh, the reviews. Small Amazing. Small. Yeah. 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 Okay, so I'll just double check here in the group. Has anyone got any questions for um, Rose Pink Soap so far before we have a look at the um, website and have a look at some of the other products and things that she does? Sorry, go, you, do you have any questions? Not not question that I'm interested to see the products. Ah, question that's what is... everyone's waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> 
question is always there because you know i am particularly worried always about the hair as much to do because you know once you start using and this hard water and then you put harvey's water softener and this and that so you've never got a concrete answer that what do you use i mean and also i've got an oily skin so i'm always much worried about uh, things and you know what to use so maybe it'll be good to know and then to see what it is so you've got your own website as well isn't it yes yes i do yeah, have yeah, rose maybe you can share the yeah yes yes yeah okay, let's so see what, you share share your website um nikki and then we can see if, uh sorry could then has any um questions or you can try and answer some of the things she said now so we'll let you share yeah i want to say one thing enable... i want to say oh, one thing i've used your it. oil i love it i've used uh, nikki's oil and uh, i just love it and it's so natural and uh, you stay so far and you know i just i want to order again but it just didn't Amazing. happen but uh, i have used her oil and i can vouch for it go is ahead, that the go miracle on. is that the miracle hair oil actually yes. yeah is that why your hair looks so like just <laughs> lovely <laughs> you got lovely thick hair so you know <laughs> Yeah, I'm, it's it's terrible in UK. You know the hair fall. Yes, Most yes. Most of the Indian that's... women we suffer with this hair fall. Uh, it just the water and the environment. It's the hard water. It blame the hard water. Yeah, but, and the environment <laughs> definitely. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Nick, do you want to share your website with us? Let's have a look. Yes, <laughs> sure. If you can disable the, um, you know. Shall I make you the co-host? I'll make you the co-host, and then you can share. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Now you can share. Amazing. <laughs> mute okay yeah you okay is it working is it working nope oh is it no it, it is not oh if not i've actually got I your think... website open i can share my screen if you wish yes please if you yeah can. it's rosepinksoaps.co.uk correct yeah i'm trying to yeah. share my screen but it's not happening over here not, I don't not a worry let me know if this works can everyone yes, see this yes Amazing. we can Amazing. Well so, um, Nikki, feel free to speak us through and just let me know um, if you want me to stroll down or whatnot. But this is the lovely website. Good. Nikki, can you see this? Yeah, Nikki, you're muted. Ah, there you go. <laughs> it's on my screen. It's it's there on my. I can see it on my screen. Yeah, we can see. Yep. So everyone can see it, Nikki. Yeah. I'll control it, so you can. You can explain it now. Click. Yeah, you can explain and just tell me what to click on or where to scroll or whatnot. You can just go on Herology. Yep. Yeah, sure. There we and go. And you can see. You can see. I have Hina, and I. also get a lot of reviews positive reviews for hina i've named this as goddess herbal hina mask because people like to color their grays or cover their grays or even condition their hair and i have used a, a particular green miracle product one is cassasia and the other one is the famous green miracle herb which goes into it and um, i can make it uh, customize it as per your hair con i mean the volume or the length of your hair and i can do the ml as per that i mean the sizing as per that i have a question here um if you don't mind yeah. like you said that you can change the proposition of the content or the quantity do you mean according to the hair um the the condition of the, the quantity, hair the quantity the, the quantity, quantity not the not the concentration no the no concentration, the concentration yes. the proportions remain the same the same 
Yes, right, and right. if somebody wants it without Hina, I can also do it without Hina. Some people are allergic to Hina or they might not. So what is the content in this, which is really the best thing which you have added? You know, what is the core competency of your product? Like what is the, if I take this particular head thing, because I was more interested to see this. <laughs> so my this, is, have come. This, this will have Hina, this will have fenugreek, this will okay. have amla powder, but uh, recently, after a few uh, research and study, I have taken off the gooseberry powder from it. The amla powder no longer exists in this one. And then there is cassassia ovulata, and then there is one more green miracle herb which I have added to this. And I also add a kai berry powder. So, if you can, I ask a question. If you take the henna out of it, then what what colors the hair? What do you use for the color? Hina basically overpowers the the pigments of the hair and it gives you orange color. But I do instruct mm. in my instructions that you need to add coffee to this. Coffee does a lovely job of strengthening, volumizing, and also giving a color, a rich dark brown color that you can see in this picture. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Sarika, did, you, did she answer your question? Do you have any more questions about yes, that? Yes, yes, that's what. So are you meant to say that we take the powder, which you've, uh, I mean, which we buy this powder and then we add the coffee beans as a powder or the, you know, we it's add a, the water. It's coffee powder, what you normally oh, yes. make coffee with. You can brew it and you can add it or you can just add the granules or you can also uh, do the tea, tea um, brewing or you can also add um, egg. And then do you have to soak it for some time or you yes, just apply you can, it once? Yes, you need to overnight soak it. And then you put it the next day, something yes. of that sort. Yes. Right. Yes. And typically, what would you recommend to um, how often we should apply or if we buy this, how often would the frequency should be? He, he depends basically when your hair gets your gray covering. So you can do it once in a month or maybe once in two months okay yeah so it depends on your root growth basically yeah like, but the non-hina yeah. one the non-hina version of this mask works wonderfully for those who are looking for hair thinning as an alternative product this is this works really well because of the ingredients that we add into this so it could add volume to your hair uh, conditioning, basically strengthening, conditioning. Right. So when you say hair thinning, so I got a bit of hair. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I said I can't understood. I said this the same thing. As, no, not me. <laughs> yeah, for, for people whose hair is spinning, basically. Yeah, I yes, guess. That. Yes. Yeah, so as a yes, condition, as a as a as a condition. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, exactly. yeah. yeah. Um, Look, some really yeah. good ingredients. Yeah, mm. it looks good, Nikki. In terms of the color, then. How do you know what color it will come out? Like, um, I've always been worried to buy henna dyes. I've heard of them and, and a lot of people have recommended, but I've been a bit worried because I'm thinking, what if my hair is too ginger or what if it, you know, like how, how, how do you, what makes it brown, I guess? Like how, how can you make sure it's a dark brown or it's in line with your we, own hair color? We add the acai berry powder to this to give a dark rich burgundy color or ah. a dark brown color. And the coffee does its job as well, the coffee powder. Yeah, amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I'm definitely going to want to try this one. I don't know about the rest of the ladies. <laughs> okay, shall I hit yeah, back and, and... Yeah, you can see, see. You can yeah. see that this shampoo bars are always out of stock. Yeah. And then this is my most hot selling product, the Miracle Hair Oil. Okay, yeah. which one do you want me to click on? Shall I click on any of them? Uh, you can click on hair oil. Yep. Thank so you. this is the one, is this the same hair oil that Rashmi was just speaking about? Yes. Yes. Ah, and it is amazing. available in 100 ml, 200 ml. And yeah. I've given some instructions here as well, how to use it. Yep, I can see. Yeah. So and tell us about this oil. What makes it a miracle oil? What does it do? <laughs> it's... um. It's again a daily hair care oil, which helps us to fight against the hard water that we are facing in this country. And also with aging and hormonal imbalances, we really can't control those factors, but we can avoid or delay it. 
we can't delay, we can't avoid aging, we can't avoid hormonal imbalances. So how can you control your hair fall? You don't want to go bald. So you can always apply oil. Ayurveda takes us back to those centuries where it speaks about massaging your hair tips or trying to invigorate your scalp points so that when you massage with your fingertips, you're trying to improve the blood circulation around the hair follicles. And that blood circulation actually helps with the oil giving the nutrition into the scalp. The scalp is where the hair grows from. So when you try to massage it with your fingertips, you can feel the kind of relaxing and kind of calmness. And the oil also helps a lot to do improvise that process. Okay. And then, I'm, I'm having a look as well at um, the ingredients that are, that are in this. I noticed you mentioned a lot curry leaves. So I think that's one of your key ingredients. Um, that's the neem. Um, yes. Nigella seeds, Bringraj. I can't say these things, by the way. Onion juice, aloe vera. Is, yes, is it has Bringraj. It has huh. neem. It has curry leaves. Curry leaves is very high in B6, vitamin B6. Then it has the onion seeds where everybody needs onion oil. So rather than going for uh, onion oil where you can't get the, rid of the smell of that onion oil, mm -hmm. you instead use the nigella seeds or the onion juice. Then you have the aloe vera and hibiscus flowers and fenugreek. You have the olive oil, castor oil as the base oil and you have the amla. And I, we also add peppercorn to this. So these are the few ingredients of the oil. These are all the natural herbs, no preservatives to this. Amazing. It sounds really good. Any questions from anyone about the oil? I will also check the Facebook Live because I don't check um, if anyone's spoken on it. Let's have a quick look. Mm. If anyone wants to ask about the oil or ask Rashmi as she's used it, then um, feel free to ask her anything. Rashmi, can I ask you, how long have you been using it for? I used it for two, three months, you know, and then later on, I should have continued, but I just couldn't, you know, because all this started, COVID and all, I should have ordered for more products from her. And uh, I really liked it. Uh, as long as I was using it, it was very, very helpful and effective. It doesn't yeah. smell also that much, you know, it's very natural. Ah, uh, that's good. I was going to ask you as well about the smell, um, you know, um, does it, because I think that's another thing that people, I guess it's not that you're worried about it. If you're going to wash it the next day, yeah. it's fine, but people still want to know, this is, how does it smell? Is it a strong smell? Is it nice? Is it not nice? You know, so, mm. yeah. So it's good yeah. to hear that there was no strong smell as such that people would be thinking oh my god i'm gonna smell of onions did you smell of onions <laughs> <Rashmi?"> <laughs> not at all um, really, i like the feel of using something natural you know these days it's so bad everything has a lot of chemicals and you know uh, people are always looking checking the ingredients and it'll have this chemical that chemical this yeah. thing that thing i'm like so it feels very nice you know that you're using something so natural absolutely i yeah. agree yeah I, i'm like you like i picked up even today early i picked up um you'll see i've got an obsession with the rose i love the smell of rose but there was a rose water miscellany i can't even say i was having a look and you know basically i couldn't i didn't know what half those ingredients were so i put it back down i was like no i'll stick with rose water it's fine you know so i totally agree with you there's so much extra things in our products we don't even know why they're there what they're doing there and if it's necessary to be there so i agree with you i, I i'm definitely going more down the natural products route you know i'm so <laughs> bad i'm so I'm so bad at ordering online, you know, <laughs> because I remember I order, I took these oil from Nikki at a, um, you know, uh, yeah, it was it, the, as in a stall, there was some <laughs> function going on and your stall was there. And I'm really bad at ordering though. Uh, and when I, when I came here in India, I started do, using Amazon <laughs> quite, uh, quite a lot, but uh, I think um, I should have gone for online, uh, you know, uh, ordering it from you. That's what oh. since many days, these stall things are not happening. So <laughs> I think yeah. I 
that's the way I, I accept payments through all modes paypal uh, through bank transfer and also through the website you can make a direct payment mm. so um nikki are you happy for example for people to message you on facebook for example and say hey i like to buy this oil and then you do the transaction that way through paypal you're happy with that as well yes yes amazing so it's not that difficult to order from you. I think, Rashmi, you have to get used to it online because even on the 12th of April when shops open, I don't know about you, but I do not want to be queuing up for two hours to get into a shop. <laughs> I oh, and, and Nikki, do you have any plans to teach uh, people how to do, make these oils or some kind of workshops, you know, once a month or something? And, uh, you know, spread this, uh, the, the knowledge of using these products and uh, how to make it for more women do you have any plans like this like have you ever thought about it um rather than technically uh, getting into it um, of teaching because it would need a formal education first of all and i would love to share the knowledge and i can do workshops because i have registered into something more intense and and it will help me even to advise and speak on public platforms and actually advise and counsel people genuinely on their problems on their skin and hair so uh, i'm very close to that certification and as soon as i finish it i'm going to contact you straight away yeah Amazing. that sounds good that would be nice a uh, 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 sort of like a consultant type workshop so yeah that would be great yes where i'll be confident let out the advices that you know uh, yeah. this is the problem and this is the solution to it yeah i think solutions. what rashmi wants is she wants your secret to how you make this that's what she's asking you you have to tell her no 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 <laughs> i'll tell you what's in it but i'm not going to show you how i make it that's your business <laughs> Um, this is an amazing to... talent. Yeah, this is a very, uh, you know, remarkable to learn all this and have your own company. You know, you sh you must market it actually a little bit more aggressively, and for people to know about it more. And uh, uh, I'm sure, you know, we are all looking for these products, but we don't know where to go. Many of us don't know where to go. So you need to just market it. Yes, definitely. Yes. I agree to that. Yes. Absolutely. Let us. That that makes me think. You know, when I whenever I get an opportunity about an e outlet, I don't forget to mention that. So, yeah. <laughs> why don't you do send us some uh, flyers about your products, and we'll be very happy to show it. And some product which is natural, and everybody is looking for it. It'll be really a good platform to come on that, and you know, display a product. Yes. So do send us. That will be released. Another question, I have a small question again. What is typically the delivery time? One is that question. And, uh, you know, if you've ordered, when would we get the product? And how soon we should order so that we get the product? Like a month and before or 10 days before, how should it be if we get it regularly? Maybe that will be good for the audience to know. Uh, the, so the first question was uh, how soon you yeah. like... Uh, we should order just, the how much time does it take for delivery so if you order today so is it what is the delivery time really? once you order i dispatch the following day with the royal mail and you get it if it's a first class or a second class as per that it reaches two to three working days but now i think there's a certain delay and they're running beyond their usual time scales royal mail so it would take 10 days certainly to get your delivery i use royal mail <laughs> Right. And can you, can it be, can, can we order like a lot of times you look forward to give some gifts to the friends on their, you know, in occasions of birthdays or Christmas. So you do kind of a gift hamper, a small gift hamper or something of that. So do you have something like this on your website for I oils and stuff? I do locally a lot of hampers. Locally, I do a lot of hampers because I can always hand deliver the whole basket. But in post, it's not possible. So I would advise that you can buy the products and just buy a hamper basket, put that in the hamper basket. and. Okay. Maybe I'm sure one stage you would reach that point where you would be able to give the hand. Give tampers. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mickey, perhaps you can do gift boxes instead. Hey, I think people would still like that really pretty boxes and then you can put everything in there. Just an yes. idea. <laughs> yes. Yes. That will Why be my not? next. 
on I'm writing it down. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Some tips. Yeah. Um, are there any other products you'd like to show us on the website? Anything else that uh, think... you can go to? You can go to another one, which is uh, which is this product, the Betox hair mask. Okay, uh, you, this yeah. one. Yeah, yeah this is basically uh, for fiber protein. It adds amino acids to your hair follicles, and it is completely plant based. It doesn't have any kind of preservatives or any kind of colors, nothing in there. It's just plant-based, fully plant-based. Uh, it's made from coffee beans and aloe vera extracts, and all the ingredients are listed behind. Uh, if This is basically for frizz control or for hair volumizing or even for uh, if you wish to have smoothness in your hair and your hair is lacking the luster or you can say shine. To add back when you add amino acids or fiber to your hair or keratin to your hair they become healthy and this is completely natural completely safe and you can also use it from any age right even on uh, from the age of 10 years old and if you're having hair issues yeah if you're having hair issues with frizz extremely frizzy hair or dry hair so this is a product where you you would ideally go to a saloon and get yourself treated, but rather I am giving this product to your doorstep. How many uses would you say you would get out of this? This is a 500 grams container. So I'm assuming with the length of your hair, Solma, it should be enough for four times or maximum five times of usage. So you can have your own five sittings. Yeah. That's great because, like you said, if you go to a salon and you get this sort of treatment, you know, that's just you pay that price for one treatment. In this, you're getting maybe four to five treatments. So, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and I would say maybe how often would you do this treatment when you first purchase it once a month or once a week, or what would your recommendation be? It this is a keratin basically, so you need to be a protein which you're adding to your hair, so you need to be careful about not overdoing it. Although it's natural, you should keep a gap, a minimum of six to eight weeks before applying the next ah. one. Yeah. Okay. So realistically, then you're talking about, let's say once to every two months, it lasts five months. So it's going to last you at least a good six to eight months, essentially. Yeah, once a month. Six to eight months. Yeah, yeah, you can do it yeah. once a month. Yeah. Sounds brilliant. Okay. So... Yep, um, we will post the um, website out on the um, Facebook live chat as well, and we'll pop it up on the um, chat in here. So you guys can go to the um, website yourselves, have a look, have, have a browse around on the products. I'm sure if you have any um, questions and, you know, you were to contact, um, I'm sure there's an email on the website. I'm sure if you was to contact Nikki, she'll be more than happy to sort of, you know, answer any questions about any of the products that we've spoken about so far. Um, what I was going to ask you as well, I, I know that Sarika had asked you right at the beginning about, you know, she's got oily skin and what might you recommend. So I'd like you to speak a little bit about some of your um, skincare products, if you have, please. Yeah, it's in the, if you can browse through the essential skincare. Yeah. I have the sandalwood face pack. And this, no, this can you share your screen if that's okay? Are you on the website? Is it okay? I, yep, I am sharing it. Can you not yes, see okay, it? Yes, yeah. okay. Okay. Is it the um the first one, Nikki? Sarini yes. and Sandal, that one. Okay, I'll click on it. Yeah. There we go. It has sandalwood, rose, neem powder, turmeric. So all you need to do is, if you have an oily skin, you need to use rose water in it. And if you have a normal skin, then you just need, you can use milk with it or a dry skin or can also use milk with it and just mix it and make it a paste. And you can even use it as a scrubber and leave it on for some time to dry. And once you dry, it will become as a face pack. So it's two in one. And then you just uh, wash it with cold water with ice cubes or you can just wash it with cold water your face and are you ready to go? Sounds you can good. use as a substitute for a face wash as well. 
So basically, you can just put it on, you can mix it with milk or water or whatever you want in, in terms of your own skin. And, and so in dry, for example, you add milk, oily, you said add maybe water or rose water, did you say, sorry? For for oily skin, you, you can use rose water. Yeah, okay with it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and yeah. And um, I was just reading, it says at the bottom that helps reduce the appearance of age spots, dark marks, hyperpigmentation, and helps to even skin tone and face acne scars and sun damage. Is that? Yes. This is I'm so sure that's the case, yeah. This is my, this will be get, getting sold very fast once the summer kicks in because people, some of them don't like the tanning, the sun tan. Mm -hmm. So this helps also to take off the suntan. All I advise is to add a little bit of rice flour to it, along with this, if they want it to have more faster results. Okay. Any questions about this product, anybody? I can't see your faces because I'm sharing the screen, but I'm going to assume that's a no, but that sounds really good as well um yeah. anything else you'd like to speak about or Nikki? these are all my face mask different face masks everything is sold out at the moment and i can make them again as per order so okay so so again if there's something that we see there and we think oh i'd like to try that we should just reach out to you and see if you can order make it for us basically okay thank you I can see your little ones there, <laughs> disturbing you. It's fine, no problem. Um, what's this anti-cellulite coffee scrub? My eyes have drawn to that. <laughs> <laughs> this is basically an anti-cellulite coffee scrub as you read it. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, basically it helps for, I also use it for my dark circles to be honest, but it, it's not recommended for sensitive skin because uh. it has, it has baking soda in it. So it's only for normal or combination or oily skin. And um, it helps to get rid of darkened areas like elbows, knees, and also the cellulite. But it has to be a con constant use. You cannot just apply only once and then say that there are no results. It's a full pack of 100 grams. So even you can ask me to do a smaller pack as a sample. And then you try it with olive oil. You mix it with olive oil. I have written handwritten the instructions there on that. Uh, yeah, it's difficult for me because Solma is handling it. <laughs> oh, sorry. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to click on Just, it? Yes, please. <sighs> <laughs> so, yes. Yeah, so this basically, you just need teaspoon two teaspoons of this and you just massage it in circular motion with warm water or with olive oil and the caffeine basically kicks in and it helps to remove your dead skin cells and okay. it's a very rich antioxidant but not recommended for sensitive skin okay so for example, um, let's say, uh, you know, like uh, sometimes women might get like spots on the back or things like that. Would you say it's good for that or? Yes, it works wonderfully for those. Yeah. Okay, any questions on this product, anybody? No? I think we okay. might have it later. <laughs> yeah. Um, is there anything else you want to show us from the website or shall I stop share? Um. I also do the uh, foot products. I also do the foot spas products and also. I'm going to click on the foot spa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these are the foot soaps, especially for the foot. And everything is sold out. If you can see, I hardly have the satsuma left now. So it's really do doing well. People really like these soaps, especially for the foot because <laughs> the well, the feet which we are standing on, we generally neglect no. them. So uh, we do need to take care of the feet as well. So treating them sometimes. Yeah, and especially with the pedicure places closed and stuff. I'm sure we all need these things. So where it says out of stock and no stock, will you be making more or, um, you know, 
I can make more it. as per order. As soon as I receive the order, I'll make them more. I mean, as per the order. Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, these look good. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah, that's your foot. Um, we spoke about the skincare. I'm just going to see if there's anything um, you've got. So everything we see here, even if it says out of stock, like your face masks or your, you know, um, your sugar scrubs and it, well, your sugar scrubs are in stock, but um, the things that are out of stock, basically, um, you're happy for people to reach out and then you. Yes, it will take certain time. It will take certain time. It will take 10 days for me to get the order. I mean, and understand what they want. If they want a particular ingredient out, I can also customize that as per that. So, yeah. Yeah. And then I have the facial soaps as well. If you go to the facial soaps page. Mm. Yeah, the soaps one, Epiderma soaps. Got it. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So this saffron soap, basically somebody, some customer of mine, she asked me to develop it for her. And I had to work out various combinations, what will go with it. And that's how the saffron soap came to light. <laughs> it was born. So mm. I had to get it uh, first approved and they approved my recipe. I had to send them three recipes out of which they approved my sink, this particular recipe with the tangerine essential oil. And um, we, we, we do want to be like princess. Princess is used to bath in rose water and saffron. So there it is. Wow, amazing. So uh, this looks good. It says that it's with the um, dull, it's for people with dull, dry appearance, um, good moisturizing. So it soothes wrinkles. I think a lot of us will be like, yes, <laughs> helps uh, in maintaining oil and moisture balance. Um, so yeah, that looks like a really good one as well. Um, yeah. 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 So the ingredients down here, it yeah. says vegetable, glycerin, coconut oil, saffron, milk powder, and tangerine. So amazing yeah. ingredients in that yeah yeah loving that um i'm gonna go back to your soaps page as well yeah so any other see, soaps you would want to bring our attention to if you don't want to use the coffee powder because it gets very messy which is one of the drawback but you can always go for a coffee soap the, and this one here the, the favorite person who finishes my stock is my husband <laughs> so, he keeps nicking all my coffee soap whenever I make them because he loves them. So yeah, it it it's a two in one because it has a scrubbing effect as well as it helps to act as a face wash. So it does two in one jobs. It's like a scrubber come a soap, and it the coffee helps for skin tightening because of the caffeine in it. It helps to improvise your blood circulation. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a much fuller or a firmer, tighter skin. But do remember, soaps always have a natural tendency to make your skin dry. So you always need to follow it up with a good moisturizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good um, point, actually. And for so... a very dry skin, you can always see on my website, there's a lavender day cream. So you can always use that as a follow up. I Spices might just are also quite good, right? Just five pounds coffee, vitamin E. Soap. Yes, it's quite yeah. a big soap. It's around eighty grams, so it to, mm. it will last you for nearly two two months or three months. If you use it twice a day, then obviously it will finish faster. Would you say this soap is suitable for teenage skin as well? Yes. Why not? Yes. Yes, I, as, if it's sensitive skin, then definitely no. But yeah, if it's a normal or a combination of oily skin, then yes. And acne prone skin, what would you recommend? For acne prone skin, then I would recommend my um, other soaps, which are there like lavender or lime, which is out of stock, sold out. And I can make it or I can even customize or make rice and turmeric soaps for acne prone skin, especially for acne prone skin. Amazing. So it basically what you're saying is anyone can come to you and say, this is my skin problem. Is there something you can create for me and you can 
try something or recommend something you already have. So actually, what what your um, business is is more of a personalised one, really, yes. because yes. what you're doing is you're you're saying this is your what you want to achieve. I already have this available. You can try it, or I will create this for you. So actually, yes, and then I need time to create that because yeah. I need to first test it out. So I can customize. That's how I created some of the products: the saffron soap and the serums. What would you reckon for white spots on the face? Like sometimes you get white spot, you know, on the face. White spots. Yeah. So are the white spots, do they come up here only when you get up in the morning or they are throughout the day? Uh, no, like not, not all the time. Like, you know, like how you get black pimples. Uh, uh, sometimes you get one or two white spots. That can be due to the heat or any kind of uh, food that you eat during the day. Or it's not an ongoing skin problem? No, no. Okay, then you should definitely go for a scrub and um, you can buy the smallest quantity and see how it goes. It will help you to clear the buildup and the yeah. sebum. Sometimes sebum builds up unknowingly. And yeah. I, I don't know if you have heard that when you sleep at night, there are face mites which work through your skin and which yeah. cause all these acnes and the rosacea and also the white spots or any kind of spots. So the face mites basically work in the night so that's why when in the morning when you get up, you say, see something developing on your skin. Yeah. So what's the best scrub for that? Uh, you can you can go for uh, the the mildest one is the oats cleansing grains. You can start with the scrubbing lightly. You can see what effects it will have on your skin, uh, and you can I can tell you the ingredients what it has and see if you're allergic to anything. Nikki, is it this one, the oatmeal almond soap? Is that the one you're speaking about or is that a different one? Yeah, you can try this soap as well, but it has almonds. So if you're allergic ah. to almonds, then I wouldn't recommend this. Okay. Is is the one you're going to recommend on your website so I can pull it up for her? Or the almond scrub? It is there under my scrubs. So if you go to my scrubs page and under essential mm -hmm. skin care, Okay, I'll pull that up while you explain. Explain this one. Yes, okay. yeah. I'll let you explain. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Yeah. I'll let you explain it to her. Go for it, Nikki. Yeah. Yeah. These okay. are the oats. Yeah, these are the oats cleansing grains. So yeah. uh, these, these you can use every day, twice a day. So if you see here, I've written the explanation here. See, you having a night routine is very yeah. important. So once you start the night routine, you'll see your improvisation in within two or three months time. Yeah. Everything will not happen overnight. So you can start with this one and you can see how it works on your skin type. I don't know what's your skin type. I can't see you at the moment. So yeah. I'm assuming it's normal. So you can use this with rose water or milk as per your skin type and just scrub it along your face in circular motion and then follow it up, wash your face and follow it up with a night serum. Yeah, thank you, yeah, thanks. Thank you, Nikki. I can see she keeps getting disturbed by her kids, I think. <laughs> um, okay, amazing. <laughs> uh, so anyone else wanna ask about anything or their skin or? Your phone number and uh, it's all on the website, right? Your contact details, everything, so that you yes. can contact. Yes, my phone number should be there on my website. And also, you can connect me through my Facebook page, which is there. I'm always available on the chats. If you And you can always leave me voice messages on my WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. That's my yeah. page. And if you go to my page, you'll see all the reviews there. If I click on it, it's just going to ask me to sign in. So I won't oh. click on it right now. <laughs> yeah, fantastic. So I don't know if anybody had any just general um, questions for Nikki about her business or the products we've seen or any um, problematic um, areas or anything like that. Um, 
I'll give everyone a chance to see. They're a very quiet bunch today. I don't know what's going on. And it's Sarika, as usual. <laughs> I'm quite inquisitive, and especially when it comes to the products. I don't know if it can help someone, then it's really good. And natural product is something we all look for. Mm. So I was when I was listening to you, so you said it's challenging to you know get to a level where you package there's a lot of cost which is you know associated with any kind of business and a lot of risk more risk more gains no risk no gains less risk less gains isn't it <laughs> so yes but really really good stuff really nice and all the very best and i'll probably definitely try some products of yours i'll look have a look from the website and i will definitely try at least from the hair perspective <laughs> <laughs> yes and if you try anything and it's great please do um you know under this video and on rose pink's um, facebook page please do leave reviews because i think absolutely reviews is what builds confidence isn't it like i didn't know rashmi had used the oil so now i'm like oh maybe i will try it you know it's like that isn't it so <laughs> yeah. yeah so thank you so much nikki for sharing your amazing products with us and your journey um you know, the, 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 we always like to be inspired. And I think your story was inspiring. There's a story behind your product. So hopefully people will go out there, try your products, you know, give it a go, see if they like it or not. You know, we're so quick to go into body shop and say, oh, eight pounds, I'm going to buy it. But we see it on the website and we go, eight pounds, no, it's too expensive. You know, there's no excuses. We know we will buy things. So I just hope people go out there, try your products, give it a go. Um, and see how they feel because if it works amazing you're supporting a local business you're supporting the environment you know you I, I'm all for small businesses so thank you so much for sharing and again thank you for Rashmi for giving people this platform oh, no. and you know putting together all these events and you know day in day out so thank you, you are again. fantastic you're fantastic <laughs> And uh, Prajakta, it's so nice to see you again. And uh, we wish you all the best for your bright business and future. Uh, so uh, I think I think uh, people just need to know that there is somebody or something called Rose Pink. And then the moment the word is out, you'll be flooded with a lot of orders, believe me. So uh, I think there are a lot of groups uh, they have these special business days you need to be more visible <laughs> there you know, all these business days yeah so uh, thank you so much uh, Nikki and uh, Solma and thank you to those who could be here supporting a woman uh, you know all of us need to be there take out time and uh, try and spread the word out there and uh, so inspiring in a room brings something else tomorrow which is just very quickly where Shali Shah, she has her own website called uh, uh, Vedic Scriptures. It's called hinduscriptures.com, which is all about uh, festivals, uh, the culture, the, the Indian, uh, about the Vedas, about all these uh, mythological stories and stuff. And she's written a lot of books on it. She has studied on it and done a lot of research and has written books. So she's going to be there talking about her books and uh, it, and the host for tomorrow is uh, Babita Aswani. So it is 2 p.m. Remember, it's 2 p.m. UK time because Amazing. she stays in Kenya. So do match her timing. It's 2 p.m. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank Take you. Take care. See you all. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Thank, thank you so much. Everybody. Thank you, Sal thank Salma. You so much. Very thank good. You so much. Thank you, Sarika. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. Bye.